This message is from Lord Maitreya, who is very aware of the amount of fear in the world at the moment. And he has entitled this, The Light is Rising. We are honoured to be invited to speak with you, for we do love to assist at every turn. We know how stressful this time appears because it seems in your mind that things are getting worse. Dear hearts, it is just that the energies are speeding up so that all the darkness is exposed as soon as possible. We stay, say with deep love, hang in there with faith in the divine process. Remind yourself that you volunteered for this journey because you knew the outcome was a given if you played your part. You understood the importance of living from your heart love. This means that although you are aware of controls based on greed and manipulation, you do not dwell on them or promote their energies by discussing them or sharing them on what you call social media. Some of these sites are led by darkness and have been designed to be addictive. We ask you to hold the light at all times and project it into all situations which are causing suffering and that includes naked fear. Disengage from any forum which is not designed with love and honour. This year will pass, dear ones and your light will penetrate the suffering as long as you walk with God in your heart. Take time to enjoy the beauty of nature. Spend time with friends and companionship and take part in group activities to keep your energies up. Find joy in every moment and raise others around you with kindness, with a smile. You will feel this returned in abundance by the divine, for there is huge gratitude for every act from your loving heart. Here's a prayer to assist you when situations lower your energy levels. Beloved Mother, Father, God, hold me aloft from the suffering. Pour your love into my heart and return me to my sacred state, which is being you in thought, word, and deed. I breathe in your grace and release all pain, for I know your love endures in me forever. Thank you for your blessing. Peace, love, and wholeness are mine now and forever. Gratitude fills my heart and I extend deep love into the world. Amen. So ends that message. It's a lovely prayer. Hmm. So, we have to keep the faith and not become involved in all the dark dramas. Thank you for listening everyone and much love to you all and blessings.